this. When is it Toy Con? I'm guessing it's this Toy Con is on yeah. today. today. This is our okay. first day, June uh -huh. 8 to June 10 okay. at the SM Convention Center in Manila. It's Toy Con. So we, are, we have it, uh, we invited the Hollywood celebrities and also mm. it's, a, it's, it's a throwback. Pop Life. There's a girl group named uh, Kiss Me. They're very popular in Japan. Mm -hmm. they, they're going to perform uh, later after at 5 p.m. Fan Experience. Toycon is uh, also showcasing Filipino talent. We have uh, local talent from the comics industry, toy community, and etc. Cetera, et cetera. Mm -hmm. So it's a uh, uh, amalgam of pop culture. And we're not limited to toys and comics. We're also welcoming other fandom. And so say hi. Say hi, ladies. Hi. This is this is Miss Gay. Hi. Ayan, all right. I'm doing an improv here because ang dami ko pang backlogs. My God. Hindi ko matapos-tapos yan. So, I'll have to focus my mind on Toycon and only Toycon because later on this afternoon, we will have Kiss B. <laughs> Kiss B is here in Manila. Okay, I'll have to watch that. That will be my break. <laughs> I'm doing a vlog. He's also doing a vlog. <laughs> Vlogging your vlog, sir. years later still impact the world and impact a new generation and the imagination of people. Uh, the craziest, surreal, the most surreal thing about the character now is, um, you know, people send me pictures and there's like Halloween or cosplay Comic Cons or go to Disneyland and people are dressed up and Peter Pan is, is not even a franchise, right? It's not, I mean, it's big, much we love Star Wars or Star Trek and everything like that. Peter Pan is a fairy tale. It's a piece of mythology that's been around longer than all of us have been in the room that's been alive. We'll probably be around long after all we're all gone. And Peter Pan and you know you see these people at Disneyland or at the Comic Con, you see Peter Pan, someone cosplay Peter Pan, Captain Hook, Tinkerbell, maybe the crocodile, and then all of a sudden there's someone dressed up as this tri hawk red and black crazy kid in like this brown Filipino character somehow inf infiltrated a fairy tale. Like all of a sudden, a character I played is part of what is in the world of fairy tales. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> Asians don't exist. Yeah, so, yeah, 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 yeah. Of course, we've always had our fairy tales for years, but to have the, a part of this English white fairy tale that after all these years and forevermore, there will be this brown Filipino punk right. rock kid that is totally within the world of Peter Pan forever. It's crazy. We do a musical act. He's the soprano. <laughs> so welcome to Manila. Maybe, uh, uh, okay, maybe just to uh, break the ice. Uh, is this your first time here in the country? Oh, yes, it's my first time. Isn't this everybody's first time? I don't know what I'm looking at. Because, you know, you think a lot of people who do things like that, like, they're, you know, that they don't have any selfish motives. But maybe I did. <laughs> <laughs> Just saying, I might have been. I'm going to tell you a story that will show you that perhaps you shouldn't think so highly of me. <laughs> I'm in Chicago. 21 years old. I'm walking past an alley. We don't have alleys in New York because the buildings are too close together. But in Chicago, they have alleys. So if you ever see a movie that has an alley and they say it's New York, it's not New York, it's Chicago. <laughs> <laughs> or Cleveland. One of those two. They have alleys. So I'm walking by an alley. And I hear sound. And I turn and look down the alley. And there's a big guy in a coat, big heavy coat, and a hat. And he's by one of those 
exit signs that are usually red, not green. Yeah. And they, it's flickering. And the guy goes like this. I say, what? Clearly, I have to go closer, but I'm from New York, so I'm not afraid. <laughs> so I go down the alley. I get closer to the guy, and the guy says, in a voice very much like yours, Kevin. <laughs> he says, this is the deal. You get all the artwork back. You get royalties for everybody. You take care of everybody in the comic book business. You take care of Jerry Siegel and Joe Shusha. You do this for the rest of your life, and you get to keep your hair. I said, thank you, sir. You have a deal. You have a deal, sir. Absolutely. You've got a deal. That's why I have this hair. <laughs> Just saying. A little selfish. But, I, you know, that's, that's how I got it. It's a beautiful <laughs> brown. <laughs> Any more okay. questions? See, you're so fascinated by these answers. You <laughs> have your mind. Enjoy! <laughs> 